Imagine waking up one day to find Yellowstone National Park suddenly closed. No warning, no clear explanation, gates locked, roads blocked, and even airplanes banned from flying overhead. Strange tremors shaking the ground, animals fleeing in panic. Something unusual is happening beneath Yellowstone and scientists are starting to sound the alarm. Could this be the beginning of the biggest volcanic event of our lifetime? And if Yellowstone really does erupt, what happens next? Stay with me, because this isn't just about one park. It could affect our entire planet. Yellowstone's Hidden Secret Yellowstone is one of the most beautiful places on Earth. Each year, millions visit to enjoy its stunning landscapes, hot springs, and incredible wildlife. On the surface, it looks peaceful, even magical. But hidden beneath this beauty is something enormous and dangerous. Underneath Yellowstone lies one of the world's largest supervolcanoes. It's not just any volcano. It's thousands of times more powerful than a typical volcano, capable of causing global devastation. The last time Yellowstone erupted was around 640,000 years ago and it completely changed the landscape, burying half the continent in ash. Today, scientists carefully monitor Yellowstone for any signs of activity. Normally it's quiet, calm, stable, but recently, all of that has changed. Something unusual is stirring beneath Yellowstone, and it's starting to raise serious concerns among scientists around the world. So, what exactly is happening at Yellowstone that's causing experts to worry? And why was the park shut down so suddenly? Strange signs. Recently, strange things started happening in Yellowstone. Animals began acting weird. Bison, elk, and wolves suddenly running away from the park, as if sensing danger we couldn't see. Tourists started reporting something else unusual. Geysers erupting wildly, totally off their normal schedule, and areas of ground feeling unusually warm, even hot. Then came the tremors, hundreds, then thousands of small earthquakes shaking Yellowstone, stronger and more frequent than usual. Geologists quickly realized these weren't ordinary tremors. Something serious was shifting deep beneath the ground. Without warning, authorities suddenly closed Yellowstone National Park completely. Park entrances were sealed off, roads barricaded, and flights restricted from flying over. Tourists were evacuated by armed personnel, but authorities gave only vague explanations, mentioning safety concerns without details. This sudden secrecy raised an alarming question. What exactly do they know about Yellowstone that they aren't telling us? Why scientists are worried. When scientists like renowned physicist Michio Kaku start sounding worried, you know it's serious. Recently, Kaku spoke out, warning that Yellowstone is showing alarming signs usually seen just before a volcanic eruption. So, what exactly has scientists so concerned? First, they've detected something deeply troubling. The magma, the molten rock beneath Yellowstone, is on the move. Satellite images show heat rising closer to the surface than ever before. Ground sensors confirm the Earth itself is swelling and rising, as if something powerful is pushing up from below. Second, Yellowstone has started releasing gases, sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. At increasing rates, these gases typically appear right before volcanic eruptions. It's a clear sign that magma is nearing the surface, interacting with groundwater, and potentially building explosive pressure underground. Most concerning of all, deep seismic vibrations, known as harmonic tremors, are being recorded. These tremors usually occur when magma pushes toward the surface, cracking rock and triggering small earthquakes. All these signs together paint a frightening picture. Yellowstone might be preparing to erupt. But if it does, what would actually happen? And could it really affect the entire world? What happens if Yellowstone erupts? If Yellowstone erupts, we'd witness something humanity has rarely ever seen. A supervolcano exploding with unimaginable force. Picture this. The ground suddenly splits open, releasing enormous amounts of magma, gas, and ash. In just minutes, entire states near Yellowstone would become uninhabitable, but that's just the beginning. The explosion would throw billions of tons of volcanic ash high into the atmosphere, spreading rapidly across North America and eventually circling the entire planet. Daylight could disappear under thick, choking clouds of ash, causing global temperatures to drop drastically. Crops around the world would fail, leading to food shortages on a scale we've never experienced. Water supplies would be contaminated by falling volcanic debris. Economies worldwide would collapse as global supply chains are severed. This eruption wouldn't just devastate the region around Yellowstone. It would change life as we know it, impacting every corner of the Earth. But here's the most unsettling part. 
This isn't just hypothetical. Scientists are genuinely concerned that we're seeing the early stages of exactly this type of event. So how close could we really be to this nightmare scenario? Countdown to disaster? This isn't the first time Yellowstone has experienced tremors and small earthquakes. But this time, something feels different. Something feels wrong. Authorities aren't saying much, but their actions speak louder than words. Think about it. Yellowstone has never been shut down completely like this before. Not during previous earthquakes, not even during massive wildfires. Yet right now, it's locked down tight, guarded, with flights overhead restricted and military units quietly moving into nearby areas. Why such secrecy? Why such extreme measures? Scientists are seeing signs that the pressure underground is building dangerously. They're worried Yellowstone could be reaching a breaking point, preparing for something bigger than we've ever seen before. The truth is, we don't know exactly when a supervolcano might erupt. It could be years away, decades, or it could be much sooner. But experts agree that the sudden shutdown and unusual military presence suggest one frightening possibility. Maybe authorities know something the rest of us don't. Maybe Yellowstone's countdown to disaster has already begun. And if that's true, are we even prepared? Is humanity ready? The scary truth? We're not ready. There's no machine that can stop a supervolcano, no shield to protect us. If Yellowstone blows, it's completely out of our hands. Governments can plan, scientists can monitor, but they can't stop it. Right now, emergency services in the region are quietly preparing. Military supply trucks are being spotted near FEMA centers. Roads are being surveyed for possible evacuation routes. Medical tents and mobile clinics are quietly popping up in nearby counties. Even satellite systems and global networks are being adjusted, just in case. But despite all this activity, the public remains mostly in the dark. No big warnings, no breaking news, just quiet, behind-the-scenes action. As if officials are trying to prepare for the worst without causing panic. And the big question remains, if Yellowstone erupts soon, how much warning will we really get? Some experts now believe it might not be weeks or days, but just a few hours. That's not enough time for the world to react. So, we ask again, are we truly prepared? Watching and waiting. Right now, Yellowstone is calm on the surface peaceful, quiet. But deep below, something is shifting. Pressure is building. The Earth is moving in ways we still don't fully understand. Scientists are watching. Satellites are listening. Emergency teams are quietly preparing. And the rest of us? We're left wondering what happens next. Yellowstone may not erupt tomorrow, or even next year. But every new tremor, every gas spike, every silent decision made behind closed doors is a reminder. Something is happening. This isn't just about one park. It's about a force of nature big enough to rewrite history in a single moment. So we wait, we watch, and we listen. Because when Yellowstone speaks again, the whole world will hear it.